The Murray State men's basketball team played Southeast Missouri State in their second game of this semester on Thursday, January 26th. The Racers dominated the first half, leading by nine points, before facing a difficult second half. The final score was a close 75 to 74. I thought they did a, a really nice job there in the second half, changing the turnover story of the game. I thought in the first half, we really executed against the zone. Our guys were really aggressive, driving into the gaps of it, getting into the teeth of the defense, finishing plays at the rim. I thought G gave us a really big lift, getting to the free throw line. In the second half, playing with the lead there to start, you know, for whatever reason, uh, we got away from the aggressiveness offensively. Uh, we, we passed the ball, made some lazy cross-court passes. Not only were turnovers, but they led to breakaway layups and dunks uh, and really swung the momentum of the game. You know, I thought that was the difference. Then down the stretch, uh, credit to our guys, they battled back in, overcame the deficit, you know, took the lead twice, and then uh, after only giving up four offensive rebounds in 39 minutes, we gave up two huge ones there in the last 55 seconds that both led to fouls and Simo stepped up and made the free throws. Despite their loss, there were several excellent shots by Jonathan Stark making 12 two-pointers, Bryce Jones making three three-pointers, and Gene McGee who made six free throws. Well, they did a good job of, of not fouling Jonathan uh, and, and keeping him from the line. Uh, he was still very effective scoring the ball. Uh, but I thought G was aggressive against his own. And by doing so, he was able to get to the free throw line. I know he didn't shoot the ball as well uh, from the stripe as he has throughout, throughout the season, especially the conference portion. So uh, yeah, it's one of the, the positives to play in zone. It, it's tougher to get to the free throw line than it is against man. And, and then in the second half, uh, we didn't force the turnovers we did in the first. Uh, first half forced 10 turnovers. I thought that was a big difference in the half. I think it was 10 to five in our favor. We, we led by nine. Second half, it was nine to four in their favor. And I think thought that was a big key in the game. Yeah, a very disappointing loss. Uh, take nothing away from SEMO. Uh, they, they, they outplayed us in the second half. Uh, still a lot of basketball to be played. We're, we're halfway through the conference season. We don't need to be worrying about titles and first, second place, all those things. We just need to worry about getting better as a basketball team so we can win these games. But we are tied, tied for first as we enter Saturday. So we don't have time to, to feel sorry for ourselves. Obviously, it's very disappointing. Uh, this is not where we want to be. But we got to get in the gym tomorrow and, and prepare for Martin. Uh, we know they have three uh, very, very talented guards uh, capable of putting up big numbers in, in Mobley, Butler, and Edwards. Uh, so we'll have, to, uh, we'll have to be ready to go Saturday night. I know they'll come in here with a lot of confidence. Uh, they've been playing good basketball. The men's basketball team plays again on the 28th, where they face off against UT Martin here at the CFSB Center. For more on racer athletics, visit thenews.org or pick up a copy of the Murray State News on campus.